Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey. I started on the wrong page. How's it going? We have some new news regarding the changes to Warmite and the weapon crafting system. And we also have something else, which I'll just say right ahead. Uh, potentially a new class of weapon, maybe, who knows? It's a lot of speculation right now. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to be reading all the news um, and talking about it, about it as I go along as well. There is a lot to go through, so... Uh, we're gonna just jump right into it again if you end up liking this video You can leave a like subscribe to me if you want more Jagalia stuff and comment about how you feel about any of these changes of course All right, let's get into it. So first of all um, In these two specific posts there was a image that showed this was the image um, It showed this I believe it was on here. I don't think it's here anymore Yeah, I don't I forget. I think it was right here. Yeah, no, you know what? I don't actually remember. But anyway, when this dropped, um, when, yeah, because it's dealing with, uh, warm prints, so it has to deal with warm prints. So as you can see here, we have sword, blade, dagger, axe, spear, or harpoon, I forget which one, uh, bow, wand, staff, and this is all the weapons in the game, and then here's something that we don't know, um, we don't know. We don't know what this is. A lot of people are saying it's a gun because it looks a lot like a gun. You can see it right here. You can see it here. It kind of looks like a gun. Does this mean that there's a new class coming to Dragalia? It's possible. It's also possible that maybe they were messing with something and they were seeing if they were trying to add a new class of some kind, a new weapon. I guess not class is not the right way of saying it, but a new weapon type. Um, maybe it's something that we'll see in the digest. I don't know, but you can't find this image on the official site. It used to be. So if you see people saying like, oh, it's Photoshop, it's not Photoshop. They've literally taken it down. All right, let's get into the actual news. I would be excited for a new thing. All right, so we're going to start with weapons. Actually, I'm going to start with Wormprint because Wormprint is a little bit easier to understand. Um, I actually read Wormprint and I have not actually read weapons yet. So let's start with uh, Wormprint. The Wormprint system will undergo major changes in the next update. Then this notification will explain how the system will work in detail. Uh, for goodwill gestures, look at the previous post. We've all already read that in a previous video. You can check that video out. Changes will affect the following aspects of the Wormprint system. Uh, Wormprint functionality. Wormprint upgrades. Worm prints available in the Imperial Onslaught treasure trade and treasure trade for worm prints, worm print related endeavors. Each change will be explained in further detail below. Alright, worm print functionality. Uh, 1. Abilities. In version 1.23.1 and earlier, each worm print could typically have up to 2 abilities and some certain event perks had 3. In the next update and beyond, each worm print will typically have 1 ability, not including worm prints with event perks which have 2. Um, some of those I think also had four because it was like one that was like, no, nah, never mind. After these changes are implemented, the abilities of existing worm prints may be different than they were before. In addition, worm prints of the same rarity but different names may have same abilities. Uh, you can see here their example skill damage and strength double buff. Now, Valiant Crown has that, and Sisters of the Anvil has strength double buff. Um, Number that can be equipped. The number and rarity of worm prints that can be equipped on a particular weapon depends on the number of slots. So here's the first thing, because this is what happens when I skip weapons. Worm prints are now being equipped to your weapons, not to your adventurer. Uh, the number of rarity and worm prints that can be equipped to a particular weapon depends on the number of slots that weapon has. Each weapon may equip up to three five-star worm prints and up to two two-star, three-star, or four-star worm prints. Okay. Copies. In version 1.23, and you can see here the kind of different ones. So, the way this is making it sound, may equip up to three, so that would be three. I would assume they mean two of each, so that would be two, four, six, nine worm prints in total, right? And then if you look at here, because you could also take it as they mean four, because it means, no, three, and you can mean five. But as you can see here, clearly there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's more than seven, eight. There's at least eight on this specific string, state, uh, screen, man. My, my words ain't working today. Um, so interesting. Copies. In version 1.23.1 and earlier, multiple copies of the same worm print 
could be obtained and equipped in different members of the team. In the next update and beyond, additional copies to equip to members of a team can be unlocked by upgrading an individual worm print. Up to four copies of a worm print may be unlocked by spending Eldwater, excluding certain worm prints. A worm print cannot be equipped on more than one member of the team unless one or two. No. Ooh, unless one or more of its copies are unlocked. If a player obtains a worm print that could already have it, if a player obtains a worm print that they already have, it will be converted into Eldwater and Rupees. In addition, worm print storage will be removed. That's good. Uh, affinity bonuses. Certain worm prints will have an affinity. There are 11 affinities in total, and equipping multiple worm prints of the same affinity will activate an affinity bonus, providing various ability effects. Ability effects provided by affinity bonuses will stack with ability effects provided by worm prints but do not share limits. For example, if four worm prints with the crown boon affinity are equipped, the skill damage plus 10% ability effect will activate. Um, for details on the number of affinities required to activate an affinity bonus and the affinity they provide, please check the all affinity bonus section of the worm print selection screen accessibility when editing teams in game. So we don't have that right now. Um, interesting. Interesting. Um, sounds pretty. So far, this sounds. One, it sounds like they want you. The main problem was always been, which has always been with worm prints, is that um, we have a buttload of worm prints and you only ever use like. 20 or so i've never used more than 20 um in the lifespan of the game i think it's kind of been that way but that doesn't stop me from having over 500 of the damn things um so this kind this change kind of makes sense in the fact that they want people to use more worm prints so they kind of have to strip some worm prints of the, their abilities um but it seems like we're going to be getting it seems like in general at least the way i'm reading it now that worm prints will be stronger than they are currently uh at least that's the current feel i'm getting uh let's move on hp and strength worm print upgrades hp and strength in version 1.23.1 and earlier worm print stats were upgraded by leveling it up in the next update and beyond the hp and strength stat will be upgraded by unlocking hp and strength nodes unbinding a worm print will be necessary to upgrade these stats to their maximum values Unbinding worm prints. Unlock a worm prints unbinding nodes to increase the maximum number of times that its HP and strength nodes can be unlocked. Uh, in the previous versions, unbinding was performed by using copies of a worm print. Since only one of each worm print can be obtained in the next update and beyond, unbinding them will be formed by spending Eldwater. Oh, okay. Instead, um, that's why we're getting a bunch of Eldwater. Uh, I should be I should unbind all the worm prints I currently can. I guess. A Worm Prince ability effects will be upgraded based on the number of times they have been unbound. A Vestige Refined effect that alters a Worm Prince art will, be continu will continue to unlock at the second stage of unbinding, and Silver Keys and Golden Keys may continue to be used to unbind Worm Prints. Augmented Worm Prints? I just realized that this also means that I can just use the Prince. Nope, never mind. Augmented Worm I just realized that I can technically use the... Uh, the um the prints from the shop multiple i don't need to grind more of them is what i'm basically thinking um sorry let me get back i lost my place augmented worm prints in version in previous versions hp and strength stats of the worm prints could be up, augmented up to 100 and following this update they will now go up to 50 each makes sense it, they would be kind of crazy busted if they had get their hp and strength buff this way Upgraded this way and then also have it done another way. So this is what they mean. Okay, so the upgrades you can have up to four. Interesting, interesting. Um, augment items used in version 1.3 and earlier will be removed to affected players with goodwill just what? Augmented items used in version 1.23.1 and earlier will be re returned. Okay, okay. Makes sense. It will be returned. So they're saying if there's more, you'll get them back. Worm prints available in the Imperial Onslaught treasure trade. These are the tre these are the ones I was thinking of. The Great Worm. This is the stupid thing I was trying to say before my dumbass brain couldn't say anything. Trades will be limited to the maximum of one of each worm prints, and players who already have one of a worm print will not be able to trade for it. Unlike the worm prints mentioned earlier, unbinding and unlocking copies of the following worm prints will require materials other than Eldwater. And here we have these. Uh, the Great Worm, the Great, the Great Worm Prince, and then all of the Glorious Tempest, Queen of the Blue Seas, Volcanic Queen, King of the Skies, Ruler of the Darkness. 
Players must have fully unbounded the Great Worm Midgar Summer Worm Print in order to trade for the Glorious Tempest Worm Print. The same holds true. Okay, so that will stay the same. So those are the Worm Print changes kind of coming. Right now, I feel like I really need to see what print gets what effect, because I do know for a fact that there are some prints that have a double ability that are not shared with some other prints, and I'm wondering which of those they're going to keep. Um, and which, because that also makes it feel like, so here's the one thing, I do kind of wish that they had said right up front which prints were keeping what abilities, because there are certain prints that, like, for example, I think, um, the Monster Hunter prints, it would be kind of a bummer, because a lot of those Monster Hunter prints have a very special ability. I can see it being kind of a bummer losing that ability. Um, but at the same time, there are some of the collabs, such as the Mega Man prints, that have really interesting effects that I just never use because I never actually need them. Um, so I kind of want to see where those go. I want to see more of this one. I'm not like saying like, oh, I'm negative towards it. I'm really interested, but I'm kind of wondering the logistics of the whole thing. So now with that done, whoo, whoops, let's go on to here. You just saw my news thingy. It's fine. I didn't have anything on there that was bad, I think. Wait, did I? I double checked. There's nothing bad. Anyway, the changes to weapons and crafting system. The weapon and crafting system will undergo a major change in the next update. Got you. The next update will reduce the number of weapons that players have to manage to make the process of crafting weapons easier to understand. In the previous versions, player chose a weapon to craft and the various groups available unbound fully then enhanced it. In the next update and beyond, the craft and enhanced tabs will be removed and replaced with the weapon slash crafting tab for each player will select craft weapon from various groups. A new feature called the weapon bonus will be added that can be unlocked by upgrading your collection of weapons. In the next update and beyond, abilities, including those attached to individual weapons in version 1.0 and earlier, will be consolidated into generalized weapon abilities whose effects apply to all weapons of a particular type once they are unlocked. Other changes include the ability to equip worm prints to your weapons, yeah. As a way you use and upgrade weapons is changing, the following is a list of the main changes. In version 1.23.1 and earlier, our weapon stats, HP, and strength were upgraded by leveling it up. In the next update and beyond, it will be accomplished by unlocking nodes. That's what they mean, so we're not gonna have augments anymore. Huh. At least that's what it's sounding like to me. I don't know, maybe I'm reading it wrong. Uh, in, version, in the previous versions, unbinding was performed using copies of weapons. In the next update and beyond, it will be accomplished by unlocking nodes with materials. Only one of the particular weapons can be crafted, but by unlocking additional copies of the weapons, it can be equipped on multiple members of a team. Slots will be added to weapons, and up to five worm prints can be equipped to each weapon. It said five. Five, but that screen showed way more than five. Okay. No, worm prints will be changed to typically have one ability per worm print. The weapon bonus will grant an increasing benefit to HP strength provided by a certain types of weapons or players are crafted or crafted. The weapon bonus will grant an increasing benefit to the HP and strength provided by certain types of weapons as players craft and upgrade more of them. Certain weapons abilities, such as Bane abilities found in the weapons from Void Battles and Advanced Dragon Trials will apply to all weapons of a certain type once unlocked. Each change will be explained in further detail below. Crafting groups, one weapon of each type, uh, one weapon of each type from each of the following groups can be crafted. Core weapons, void weapons, chimera tech weapons, high dragon weapons, agito weapons, um, five total, five total, five total. This one, each element, flame, water, light, eight total. Notes, each weapon can only be crafted once, but a weapon can be upgraded as described later in this notification to increase the number of them that the team members can wield. In the next update, Certain existing weapons will be removed and can no longer be crafted. Weapon skins of certain existing weapons that are removed in the next update can be obtained by upgrading weapons from each group. Okay. Weapon unlock progression. Crafting weapons will be unlocked in the following order. 3 non-elemental core weapon, 2 4 non-elemental core weapon, 3 5 non-elemental core weapon, and 5 weapon of each element for each group. The requirements for unlocking weapons from each group are as follows. Core weapon. Three non-elemental weapon. No smithy level or other requirements. Four non-elemental weapons. Fully upgraded. Three are non-smithy. So, etc, etc. Five non-elemental weapons. Fully upgraded. Four. Uh, got you. Smithy level five. Five star weapons of each element. Fully upgraded. Five star non-elemental weapon. And smithy level six. 
Okay. Void weapons, fully upgraded, five star non-elemental core weapons on Smithy, seven plus. Chimera tech weapons, fully upgraded, five star non-elemental core weapons, Smithy level eight. High dragon weapons, fully upgraded, five star non-elemental core weapon, void weapon, matching type and element in Smithy, seven plus. A Gita weapon, fully upgraded, I'm going to assume of every single weapon in Smith level eight, etc, etc. Note, a fully upgraded weapon is one that is one that has its stats and functionality upgraded nodes fully unlocked and described later in the notification. Other weapons. The following weapons that can be equipped and upgraded the player possesses them. Soldier's Brand, Lucky Hone Something Paddle, the Mega Sword, the Mega Blade, the Mega Dagger, the Mega Axe, the Mega Lance, the Mega Bow, the Mega Wand, and the Mega Staff. The following weapons may be equipped and upgraded if the player possesses them. Okay. The following weapons may only be equipped and will not be displayed under the other headings. The Battle Sword... Battle worn sword and all the battle worn stuff. Okay. Upgrading weapons, improving weapon stats. In the next update and beyond, a weapon stats will be upgraded by spending wet stones to unlock HP and strength nodes. Unbinding and refining a weapon, as described below, will be necessary to upgrade these stats to their maximum values. Unbind weapons, unlock a weapon's unbind nodes. Okay, wait. 2. Unbinding weapons. Unlocking a weapon's unbinding nodes to increase the maximum number of times that its HP and strength nodes can be unlocked. In version 1.23.1 and earlier, unbinding was performed using copies of a weapon by the next update and beyond. Unbinding them will be performed by spending material instead. Steel bricks, meticulous ingots, and adamantium may, be continue, may continue to be used to unbind weapons. Okay, so they're not going away. Weapons with a weapon skill can be unbound to a certain stage to level up that weapon skill. In addition, certain weapons will unlock weapon skins when unbounded. Refined weapons. Unlocking a weapon's refinement nodes to increase the maximum number of times that weapon can be unbound. Refining a weapon requires material and a weapon skill and abilities may change after refinement. So here we have the kind of... Wow, okay. Augmented weapons. In the next update and beyond, let me guess it's the same. Weapons may no longer be upgraded with augments. Fortifying jewels. Oh, wow. They're going to be gone. Because Wow, okay. Because weapons may no longer be improved with augments, we will not be adding amplified jewels, a specific item that increases the strength provided with weapon previous announced in future updates. Okay, so they're not all 100% gone because they're still dragon ones, I guess. I forgot that there are dragon ones, though, just now. And, oh, I guess no adventure one still exists. Okay. Copies of weapons. In version 1.03.1 and earlier, multiple copies of the same weapon could be obtained in the next update and beyond. Only one of each weapon may be obtained. By unlocking a weapon's copies, team members may equip up to four of the same weapon. Okay. The weapon storage will be removed. Fantastic. Certain weapons must be unbound to a certain level before their copies can be unlocked. If players obtain a weapon that can already have... <laughs> If a player obtains a weapon that they can already have, it will be converted into materials for other items. Okay. Weapon slots. Each weapon will come with a certain number of slots. In version 1.23.1 and earlier, up to two Worm Prints could be equipped to an adventurer. In the next step and beyond, Worm Prints will be equipped to weapons instead and can be equipped to a certain number equal to the number of slots in the weapon. The number of slots in a weapon will be vary from weapon to weapon, and slots can be added to a weapon until it has five. Allowing it to equip up to 5 worm prints. Slots come in two types. Slots for 5, up to 3. Slots for 2, 3, and 4 worm prints, up to 2 per weapon. Okay. Okay. Weapon bonuses. I should have started with this. Uh, too late now. Uh, weapon bonuses. Damn, this video is going on long. If you're still watching this, please leave a like. <laughs> this is a lot to read. Weapon bonuses. By unlocking this weapon bonus for elemental weapons for each group, players can boost their adventurer stats depending on the type of weapon that they wield. These boosts are reflected in the castle information screen. Weapon bonuses for certain Agito weapons will be added in the future. Okay, so the Agito weapons aren't going to have their things right from the start? Alright. Makes sense. I guess they kind of want to see how the current balance kind of rolls out. Things are going to be very different when this- I can already tell things are going to be very different when this update comes out, because this feels like a completely different game. Um, weapon abilities. In version 1 and previous versions, individual weapons came with a variety of abilities that provided advantages in Void Battle, Astro Raids, and Advanced Dragon Trials. In the next update and beyond, these same individual abilities can be made available as generalized weapon abilities Ooh, by upgrading certain weapons. 
The weapon abilities that are available to a particular weapon will depend on the weapon's type, and these abilities will take effect regardless of what weapon the adventurer has equipped, as long as the adventurer weapon type and element match with the weapon ability. Therefore, you will no longer need to equip the specific weapon with an ability to get- THANK YOU! In order to benefit from as long as you have- This is super annoying with specifically the, um, there's some void battles where you need a very specific type of weapon or you deal no damage, and those are the dumbest to grind. If I can now just use my strongest weapon and then they have the ability to stop the effect, that's already a fantastic change. Certain weapons will unlock weapon skins when their weapon abilities are unlocked. This list, the list of weapon abilities that you have unlocked can be viewed in game. Other changes, weapon related endeavors, same as the warm print ones, they're just kind of going. Um, the following endeavors will be affected. Normal endeavors, certain endeavors will be removed, new endeavors will be added, and certain endeavors will be, reward will be revised. Campaign unlock endeavors, the royal regime, event compendium endeavors, other changes. The tutorial describing how to upgrade weapons unlocks the players clear. Dragalia 5.3 and Chapter 2 of the main campaign will be replaced with one describing weapon crafting that unlocks after certain new powers. In Chapter 2 of the main campaign, weapon storage slots received as rewards from chests found in the main campaign will be replaced with by dragon storage slots and augment items. Okay. So those are the changes coming to weapons and... Coming to weapons and worm prints. Crazy. This all sounds like a lot to digest. Um, I don't really have a clear opinion because I really think we kind of need to play it before we understand how good or bad this system might be. It already sounds way more interesting than what we got now, but it. I mean, looking at that wall of text, it seems a lot more complicated. I don't think it's very complicated. I already like some of the stuff they're doing. I'm very interested to see where the prints are going. It's kind of how I feel right now, and I really hope that we might be getting a gun. And I hope that this means Mega Man might be changing his class from what he currently is, which is Wan, to Gun. And if that means that they're adding a gun, that means that there's a good chance that the Mega Man collab might come back and actually be good. Um, or maybe they'll have, you know, there's a bunch of other, we're no longer limited to what, if the gun turns out to be true, if you believe in the gun, like Zardoz, uh, the gun can mean a whole bunch of things. Like, if we have guns, that means we can now, now the ability to actually have Persona dudes seems likely, uh, cause, you know, um... The main dude from- all the dudes from 5 use guns. Technically speaking, the dudes from Persona 3 use guns, but those are evokers and they're not shooting the enemy, they're shooting themselves, that's another thing. Um, but they have their own weapon, so that, you know, it's a sidearm to them, basically. Um, Dante from Devil May Cry, he uses guns. You know how much Capcom and Nintendo love working together. So, you know, it's definitely possible. Hmm. But anyway, that's I think that's the end of this video because this video has been going a very long time. Again, if you stuck with me through all that and reading all of it, I would really appreciate it if you left a like because now my voice is very tired and I have kind of a headache. Um, but in terms of excitement levels right now, straight for the roof, man. I can't wait to see what's going on with uh, the update, what's going to come with the anniversary, with the digest. Um, it's invigorating me in a lot of ways. Um, and I have to go through that story and figure out what's going to happen. Uh, so, if you made it this far, you should figure it out. There's going to be an influx of Dragalia stuff, because Dragalia is going through a very fun time right now. Um, so stick around. I hope you like this video. If you do, remember, slap that like button. Comment and tell me how you feel. Uh, subscribe to me if you want some more of this stuff, because I'll always stick with Dragalia. I may sometimes not release a Dragalia video. But that does not mean that I'm not constantly playing Dragalia, because I, I play Dragalia a whole bunch. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you later. Goodbye! Bye-bye.